Hey beauties, welcome back to the global fashion workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Today I have a new video for you all. One pattern can serve as the basic pattern for many very different wardrobe items. Today we will show you how to transform a dress without a pattern on which we worked with you last week into a stylish quilted coat shirt. We will take the design of the dress and model the details of the coat from it. It will be with yokis on the back and front and a slightly rounded multi-level bottom. There will be two folds on the back, the sleeves are wide but with short cuffs, the neck is a stand, there will be two patch pockets on the front, we will sew the coat from quilted fabric, which means that we will be working on an ultra fashionable clothes. The pattern needs to be done only once, I will teach you how to change small details and this will completely change the pattern. Look carefully at the sketch. The front length is 103, the back is 10 cm longer. The sleeve length is the same as here. I remove the sketch, we will sew from this fabric. We carefully look at the pattern, the back is red, the front is blue. Now I will show you with the pencil how to deepen it by 1 cm. And now the sleeve is 1 cm down, not this line, but this one. Now I will shoot the back on tracing paper and in the process I will rebuild the pattern. I apply the edge on the tracing paper to the center of the back. I begin to draw a sprout. Since our dress turns into a coat, we have to expand here. Here is 7 cm and we take 8. Here's the first sprout, but the distance from the center to the beginning of the shoulder is 8 cm. I received the length for the shoulder 103 cm. This is the length of the front, and now I add another 10 cm. This is the back. The front is 10 cm shorter. This is my corner. We add 1 cm and draw a straight line to the bottom line.
Here is the waistline. This is the back. Now we will draw a yoki. And this place there is a fold. The form is there. There I will draw a groove and then we will build a front. The back is ready. Four centimeters from here. Whatever you want, you can fold in the center. Here I am writing a yoki. Fold. Here to the fold and on the red line I write cut and spread. Here you need to draw a corner. I take 10 cm higher. The back is now ready, the yoke is ready, now we will cut out and I will build a front. Now we will make a front. This is tracing paper and the edge of the tracing paper is the edge of the bead. Two centimeters from the edge of the side. I put a parallel line. This is the line of the center of the front. We apply tracing paper to the line of the edge of the board. I can bend this line to determine the length. I'll circle all this now. I put it aside and I start making changes. Waistline. I deepen this place by one and a half centimeters. This point is the 7th cervical vertebra, we lay down 5 centimeters, 
From this point to point 5 we built a notch round. Ну, ему здесь немножко вглубили, плечо подняли. The front and back are ready. I'll show you now. Fold the tracing paper in half and apply it to the upper fold of the sleeve. Here we still need to add. I cut it off. This is the top of the sleeve. Here we make a deepening by one and a half centimeters. These two cuts are different. Here's a short cut, waistline, yoki, and here's the sleeve to the front. That's it for today. I know it was a little complicated, but you will make it. Be different and beautiful. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and bell buttons. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next one.